Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I have a network update for you guys from T-Mobile. They have now released a chart that 121 more cities and towns just got T-Mobile's supercharged 5G. If you are new to the channel and you're asking, well, what is supercharged 5G and blazing fast speed? It's T-Mobile's mid-band 2.5 spectrum that they acquired with the merger of Sprint. So again, I'll just say it briefly. The only reason T-Mobile bought Sprint was for the 2.5 spectrum and perhaps the added revenue that they gained from all the customers that they got with the merger. But the main objective was getting the 2.5 spectrum and leveraging that spectrum on their network with the integration to push a much broader and faster 5G network that they could have done than they could have done as a standalone company. So that's now in 121 more cities and towns according to T-Mobile. What does this mean? So I will leave this in this article in the description down below. So at the uh, very bottom, you could check out your state and city to see if they, if your city did get to 2.5. But likely what this means, because a lot of people have been asking me, well, when T-Mobile says that 2.5 is now in my city, what does that really mean? And that's a very good question because does that mean that it's 100% at every cell site? Likely not. Um, could it be that it's just 10, 15, 20 cell sites? That could be the case, which is not very good because then a lot of people are expecting it to be in the area on a larger scale when it's only in like literally one side of town or one part of town, which I think that's not very telling. I think T-Mobile needs to let this get to a certain percentage, let's say 70, 80% complete before they announce that specific city having 2.5. But again, it seems that doesn't fit with their protocol in terms of marketing. Every single time that they have a little accomplishment, they want you to know about it. They're going to push it out to the public via the marketing, via the PR team, and they're going to push out articles like this, and they're going to make it seem like a big deal when really in reality, it's not a big deal. So just keep that in mind. If you do see your city on the map and you're questioning, well, I don't see 2.5 yet, yeah, that's likely because it's in a very small part of your town or city. So again, I just wanted to make this video, giving you this network update. T-Mobile now, 121 more cities and towns have 2.5. That's the claim that T-Mobile was giving. So just take that with a grain of salt. Um, don't expect this to be widespread all over your city. Remember, they are still in the early de deployment of the spectrum. It just closed in April, officially got approval. Then they they the day one was August 2nd of the full integration. So they are going, they are going at a very good pace, I would say, for what they can actually do. If they spent more, of course, they could do more. That's always the case. So there's a lot that they got to do right now. Apparently, from what I'm being told, they're spending heavily, which is something that they weren't anticipating in California, pushing out backup generators because it's now required at every single cell site. The pictures that I received, uh, they're doing it. The, they're Again, they're doing it the cheap way. Instead of building it correctly with the, with the generator being inside of the inside of the cabinets where they house everything. They put a, what seems to be a temporary generator. They plugged it up and they ran the cable inside of the cabinet. That thing, those get stolen a lot. They can be disconnected very easily. There's no security. So they're doing it the very cheap way because again, they don't have the money to spend on such huge projects. If California is requiring it, they have no choice. So that's what they're doing at this point in time in California. Not only are they having to upgrade there, but they also got to invest money in putting backup generators at every single cell site. And I think that's going to start being the requirement for most states for the carriers to do that, especially in states that have tornadoes and, and hurricanes. I think that's going to be, uh, be a requirement. Places like Florida, sites have to be put on stilts because of flooding. Same in Houston because it floods there too. So T-Mobile is going to be busy it, just doing that with with a heavy investment besides the fact that they're upgrading 2.5 they're 
besides the fact that they're ripping out the complete baseband units and putting in new baseband units in, in a lot of sites, they're just very tied up right now and, and, and the money the money is the money is there now. They're spending more, but they need to they want to spend more and they need to spend more for the simple fact that there's so much going on that they have to do and they want to accomplish it a lot faster, but they can't because the, the funds are limited. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Maybe you've seen 2.5 in your area. Let us all know in the comment section. Maybe you've seen it active already and, and let us know how it performs. So if you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end this video now. If you are new to the channel, you like more content and updates like these, make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload this content. Also, follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on the Twitter. Twitter is much better at pushing notifications. So if you are active on Twitter on a daily, make sure to follow me there. Once I post the videos, the push notification goes out immediately to your device. So that way you have two options to get verified on when the content goes live. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.